Hi Capricorn, welcome to your December tarot reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. I have new services available and I'm also offering two special um, readings with great discount for the month of December. So if you would like to know more information about that, just email me and I will gladly provide all the info required. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link also down below and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So Capricorn. Wow, this month it's one that it's full of powerful reactions. The, 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 the meaning you give to the word power, what you want in life uh, to get, let's say what you want right now to get in your own ways, is going to be the urges, the desires you have to get things. They are especially emphasized uh, during this period. So there's a little bit of an energy uh, here of my, my way or no way possible, which may create as well some resistance to the change and the flow. Some of you are also being asked to accept and be present with. So there's a, a challenge between flow and control. Some of you, your soul may not be in the right place. What I want to say about that is having the devil in the soul position creates some um, obstacle, some um, obstruction, let's say, for you to be uh, guided and led by positive influences, by positive uh, intentions towards what you want to get. So you are much more susceptible to be negatively influenced by your fears, your obsessions, your compulsions to get things. This is where you need to pay attention because your soul is, is like uh, during the month of December, it's like <sighs> your soul is, is, is bound to a certain uh, shadow restriction. So you need to get towards, uh, you need to check in everything, something happens and that devil comes out and that sense of fear, insecurity, negativity, or, uh, or a sense of um, wanting to control, wanting to dominate, wanting to possibly even do something that morally you believe is wrong, but the urge to do it is so strong. You know what I mean? Every time some compulsion to do something, a part of you knows you shouldn't be doing, comes out every time you do that it's important for you to realize what shadow trait may you may be um, dealing with so you can be free from the power it holds over you because the interesting thing here is that you may feel that either you are very powerful during the month of December or powerless you may swing back between one or the other is like an extreme power over situations and people in your life you can get things your way you can manipulate them you can seduce them you can uh, interfere in a certain way with their own judgments so you can get your way but you can also then feel completely powerless and actually have other people with devil influence doing this to you the either being in the one side or the other the point here is just justice balance be fair it's very important during the month of december to exercise your influence and your power with care because most likely and especially as well with the strength card here so you have the strength and the devil Two cards, two archetypes that are the most associated with desire, power, domination, and control. And one, for me, the strength card is one where you, you are learning to tap into that brave inner self of yours. To not be afraid, to face adversity, to face challenges, to meet them in the eye. The other one is one where you need to find the freedom 
and the courage, okay? The inner courage, the inner freedom to liberate yourself from prisons you have created in your life that are keeping you from spirit, that are keeping you from divine purpose, that are keeping you from love. So there's this very interesting mixture here for Capricorns between uh, maybe having this powerful breakthrough, this powerful awakening of a part of them that it's so instinctual, that is so uh, raw that they may be confused about it. They may be bewildered about it because this is a little bit like the Pluto energy. So it's, it has been in Capricorn for a long time, but some of you, uh, and we are going to go into Capricorn season. So of course there's a lot that's go activity and Saturn as well is going to Capricorn. So there's a lot of activity coming to your sign, which are going possibly for some of you to be felt quite strongly. Okay, there's like this beast, this inner beast being awakened for Capricorns and some of some of it is a good thing. Some of it, some of you that have been allowing yourselves to be beaten down, to be stepped over, to be denied or to, it's like for Capricorns that have been settling for less than what they deserve, for Capricorns that have been allowing, you know, again, treatment, that it's not fair, that it's not right. Capricorns that have been allowing abuse in a certain way. Capricorns that have attachments with uh, people and circumstances that are just destructive. All of this combined. There's in December this big awakening or proof coming to some of you that those things, you won't get away with it anymore. What I want to say is that whatever you are doing or are allowing others to do to you that it's not right fair truthful and in alignment with let's say um the cosmic concept of justice there will be consequences that's why i wanted to say that be careful extremely careful how you allow your reactions or your impulses or your fears your and your desires to take over you to a certain way that you lose sense of your of who you are your integrity some of you may be tempted extremely tempted during the month of uh december to do something to be a part of something to be to get involved with something that you know is not the best or you know it means like a, it's like selling the soul for something it could be money it could be uh, success the faulty aspect of success reputation recognition it could be uh, sex it could be anything you know with Pluto there's a lot of taboo things any type of addiction any type of compulsion all of that is going to come out and be screaming louder than ever. Also for Capricorns struggling, it's not something new, but Capricorns struggling uh, with addictions for some time or Capricorns struggling with something that it's negative and destructive and they are aware of it, but they just don't know how to find their freedom from it. December is the month where that brave, brave, brave um, capability of freeing yourself again from any type of abuse or self-harm is going to uh, be more available. Justice and the strength can actually mean that you will find in you, you will find in you the beast, okay, that energy uh, of the lion to be free from anything that it's keeping you in a position of fear or in a position of pr imprisonment because there is imprisonment for sure your past influence is the ten of uh, wands you also have then the devil here in the soul position but still your barriers may be inward okay inward is where you may need to really uh, come to a place of liberation and of enlightenment towards realizing what have you been feeding internally you know that is the toxic place, that is the 
the, the, the place of your own it's like the place where you you have done something, created something, created something is the place where you need to go. So that self undoing, you know what I mean, can happen and you can reach another paradigm, another place um, and state of freedom in your life. I also feel being the future here, the Six of Swords, you're going to, it's like you're going to be able to move forward to... Um, a better state of living and a better state of being so whatever is concerning some of you whatever you feel you can't escape from you will most likely some of you will escape and you will be navigating in more calm and smooth waters some of you are dealing with divorces and um, separations that are maybe uh, complicated because it's like again the undoing of those ties and strings and attachments everything all together it's like a big um it's a big messy i feel like some capricorns are involved in situations that is like there's a lot of invisible energetic cords mixed up together and you are finding out about them or you are trying to be free from all of this uh, entanglement there's a lot of entanglements and it's not easy to break free i feel but you are going to find at least in you an urge to find solutions and to take decisions and to make proper decisions to a more fair balanced type of life i also feel again if capricorns are dealing with abuse um in any way justice is in your conscious position so you know what you need to do you know what you need to do about this abusive situation whatever the abuse is in a relationship in work uh in something you you are observing and you're not saying anything about anything you are um you are pretty aware it's not right you will be called to make proper action or to take proper action and decision towards this you may also be, be finding that um, during the month of December, things are more <sighs> are more darker than what you would like them to be. Things are more complicated than what you would like it to be. But don't don't stress yourself because things are going to you're going to be able to escape something. So whatever you feel like it's you're doomed to you're doomed to deal with during the month of December, you may find an ability to actually escape the problem and um, reach a better mind, a mind state. Because again, the good thing of having the justice, the strength and the six of swords together, it means that you have many weapons, strong weapons to resist and fight against the devil. Because the devil is the negative, uh, for me, the negative side of desire and the, the strength, the positive one. So understanding desire from the soul and desire from ego, the difference and what is, what, uh, which one is leading you in life, which one is leading you in situations. It's very important to make the separation and to maybe extract yourself from an environment that is negative, from a relationship that is negative from anything that you are aware is putting that power over you to maybe not be the freer version you want to be some of you may go somewhere to clear your mind and your your, your mind state or you should move there's a message here as well for some of you you should move or you are making decisions about moving uh it's like a transition you are thinking about going somewhere else and for some of you, this could be uh, of help during this month. Some of you there are dealing with divorces. It may be a struggle. I feel like there are power struggles between Capricorns and and and, and uh, people in their life. So there may be a lot of clashes as well during December. My way or their way. What I want versus what they want. And a need to compromise with the justice and find a middle ground. So that it doesn't end up being like this uh big argument or this big dispute again based on power 
power, submission, authority, uh, control, all of this is is are, are is present more than usual in your in your life, and you may need to face up the devil. You may need to face up a big fear you have during this time, and once you do, you will actually empower yourself in a good way to become stronger, braver, wiser, and readier to uh, get get your life and get your your. To get in life, you know, the resolution and the freedom and the things you want. Not needing to accept anything less than that. Also, other Capricorns are dealing with, like, never-ending story. I don't know what this means to you exactly, but all of this that I've said may be something as well that it's a part of your life for a long time. It may not be new. So there's a never-ending story that you're kind of dealing with as well during this month something for a long time and you may be uh needing to maybe find uh why this is a never-ending story why this doesn't find again a resolution or a solution why why is it because i'm still writing as well I, i'm still participating in this never-ending story how am i contributing to that never-ending story do i really want to change it do i really want to end it because with the devil in your soul maybe you are afraid of ending that attachment or ending that story because the devil attach creates a usually uh, a connection between two people for example that it feels unbreakable it isn't but it feels because the fear of letting go the fear of not finding better than that is so strong that it, it makes us uh, really be attached and connected sometimes in very destructive relationship patterns so it could be that the story is a never-ending story because a part of you is afraid to really end it in a certain way so I hope you have a great month of December thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel I really appreciate it thank you so much and hopefully we'll see each other soon and happy holidays for all of you.